Hey everyone, welcome to the Oasis Podcast. I'm your host, Miss AJ. Thanks for tuning in. An oasis is something that provides refuge, relief, or a pleasant contrast. And that is exactly what you will find tuning into the Oasis Podcast. This is a space where I and special guests will be cultivating intentional and honest conversations about life's journey. Subscribe everywhere you listen to podcasts and watch us on YouTube now. Hey y'all. So this episode was recorded with For the Love podcast, but I felt that this was definitely an episode that was worth hearing again for those of you who didn't hear it. This would be the first time. So enjoy the conversation. Welcome back to the For the Love podcast. Today we have Miss Ayana and Miss AJ. Welcome back. How are you doing today? Thank you for having us back. I see y'all, you guys, you guys are liking us. You can right? like a more episode. So, <laughs> so, so honored. We, we definitely have a new topic today. So let's talk about accountability. Mm. What does that look like for you? And you know, ladies first, we're going to start with you, Miss Sayana. What's that look like for you? Oh, accountability. That's one of my favorite words. So I'm excited about that. Um, to be accountable is to be responsible. It's to, you know, what they kind of say, like, you know, a man or a woman of your word have some moral compass to you and, and be accountable for what you say and what you do, your actions. Like you can't blame somebody else for your, for anything that you do. Your actions are your actions alone and you just have to stand accountable to those things. So I think accountability means responsibility, take your responsibility for your actions. I mean, uh, that, that pretty much sums it up. Accountability is basically something that society is lacking. Mm-hmm. Facts. We are lacking accountability as a people in general, as a race, as a gender. There's a lot of lack of accountability, and uh, I think we need to touch that. Mel ready to go there. Mm -hmm. You're like, we about to go there. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, Why why sugarcoat it? I'm I'm just going to say it off the bat. And uh, I touched it before. And when I said it before, it was more so like, Ayana made it like I was directing it just towards females. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna say this, men do not know how to be men. Mm. Mm. I don't know where it fucked up at, but a lot of these men are the new age bitches. Mm. Some fucking fucking skinny jeans, man. I think that's what did it. As soon as they decided they wanna start- Can we rewind that, play that back? (laughs) I mean, it, it is it is what it is, man. It's um, man. men don't know how to be men, and it's it's because our fathers, a lack of fathers, mm. weren't there to check us. Our homeboys that are men aren't checking their homeboys that aren't stepping up. Mm. It, it's a it's a full cycle of shit that's making it this way society is glorifying the bullshit society is glorifying the ignorance and we are a living stereotype of all the negativity portrayed upon us Mm. and we back it up with our actions yeah Mm. well you gotta think nowadays people don't like to be told anything right everybody feels like they have life figured out broke as hell (laughs) <laughs> don't know what they're going to do with their lives, yeah. but you can't tell them nothing. You know, and, hey, you know, Mel, Mel, you and I have <laughs> talked about preaching. this before. Mel, you and I have talked about this before, where you have people that have shown those negative traits and you come to them and you're like, hey, listen, you know, this is real off-putting, you know, especially when you're directing it at people that don't deserve it. And that response is, well, I am who I am. You can't change me. Mm. Whoa, you are who you are. So let me... Look at your life. That's a lazy right ass response. That's why your life is fucked up now. Because you were, you are who you are and you refuse right. to grow. To grow is to change. And that's Part of that. it's not just no, no, that's anybody. Just I don't think anything's wrong with that statement, but for different reasons. And I'm gonna pull back and let y'all finish. Oh, okay. Right. But you remember um the other day <laughs> uh, I was on online on Facebook and I had a um a little conversation with somebody. I showed you the conversation, Rich. Yeah. I showed you also, AJ. Mm-hmm. And it's like People just don't want to accept that they play the biggest part in their own downfall mm-hmm. by the choices yeah. they make. So a lot of people, before we even specify, a lot of people 
are so used to self-sabotaging yep. and victimizing themselves that it's always the world's fault instead of saying, I chose to fuck mm -hmm. up and do this. Yeah, well, there's another part to that, bro. Being a victim gives people attention. So if you run around, oh, woe is me, life is, ha oh my God, I can't believe this happened to me. Why does this always happen to me? Well, it's because you've made the same choices. Why is your credit bad? Because you keep spinning out of your means mm -hmm. going in and doing stuff. Because think about it. Think about how Walmart is right now. Walmart is black and TVs. Like, because people got stimulus packages and instead mm -hmm. of being smart because that they know they don't know what they're going to be, they want to go buy a 52 inch to put in a house that they can't pay the rent for. So it's like, Hmm. But you or know do a what? pyramid scheme on Instagram. Facts. Oh, you God. know what? Um, people like to play the victim because why? Victims get attention. That's what yeah. I was saying. Like, people love attention. attention. They like they want all eyes on them, so they're yeah. always going to paint a picture so that people Tupac. can look at them to see them. And the problem is because they don't see themselves. You know what I'm saying? But I, in regards to self sabotage, I did do that episode twenty of my podcast, the Oasis podcast. But anyway, um, absolutely put that in there. But no, for real, just throw that in there, y'all. No Absolutely. Um, but no, self-sabotage is a very real thing. And we do it in so many different levels, but you're absolutely right. People don't understand. When you are choosing knowingly and knowingly sometimes um, go against what you know is for your betterment, you are sabotaging yourself, right? And that's whether you're choosing the same type of people to date, whether you're choosing the same type of ways to, to, to waste money, if you're too... You're sabotaging yourself. You're stopping yourself from achieving your goals. You're stopping yourself from being the best you you can be, right? And that's what. I'm and people, just like what you said, Rich, you're right on the money. God forbid you tell somebody, you know, I don't think that makes sense. Tighten you know, up, yeah, tighten up. <laughs> oh, you judging me? Yeah, that's. <laughs> oh, you think you better? <laughs> but and that's what automatically people get defensive, and it's because mm -hmm. people hate when there's a mirror being brought to them, so they can see yep. themselves. They hate it. I think I think it's also integrity with it. For me, I think you just have to have some integrity and not lie to yourself. A lot of people like to lie to themselves. It feels more comfortable to tell oh, themselves some bullshit than to be real. Because being real, you know, takes the level of humility. And sometimes it, it hurts to tell yourself the truth. Mm. But you don't grow. Like you said, there's, there's, there's growth and change. And you can't grow without stepping outside of your comfort zone, stepping into that stretch zone where you got to face some shit that you might not like about yourself. You are Nobody is perfect. Mm. And, and the best feedback I've ever gotten in life most of the time was wrapped in something that I thought was negative, but it mm -hmm. gave me some insight to where I can grow and where I needed to be more accountable. But you got to have integrity around uh, behind that shit. You have to have some self-awareness it's a lot of unaware people out here they're but walking that's around that's, smelling right that's, self, that's the thinking, key right there to be self-aware yeah and thinking they the shit and they they not you not everybody is wrapped up in their own reality in their mind yeah and they're wrapped up in well i see that you can do this and you can do that so i can do it rather than staying in your own lane fit your own mold be aware of, of your limitations. Sip your water and mind your business. <laughs> but at the same Man, time, I feel definitely. like at the same time, we put we sometimes put people in a position to fail just because we see so much better in them than they know that they can uh, to reach. Mm. So we want better for people and they're fine being bum asses. Mm hmm some I'm, people like I'm, some people like vision man i'm gonna like, add another layer to that yeah these type of people though how how many people surround them that think different than them though right that they surround them themselves with people who are just like them and if god forbid you you're just that one in the crew who just evolve a little bit you you now right. want to vibrate on a different frequency <laughs> guess what happened now you done changed Mm. Yeah. It, it's oh you trying to judge me and it and it just uh amplifies this victim mentality even more mm -hmm. right as opposed to like we can't be the same people we were at 15 at 20 at 25 you are growing your mind has to grow if you stay the same you are dead like what? period 
period. Man up, so woman up. Understand that you're not supposed to be the same. You're not supposed to constantly think the same, act the same. And, def- and sometimes people around you have to change for you to change too, right? But, and I think well, that's Sometimes you have to part. change the people who are around you. Yes, I love it's not, shifting. It's not just the mm-hmm. people around you changing themselves, but sometimes you just have to change the circles of people around you. Like if you that's think that. back right now to the people that. that you grew up with, you know, you probably aren't that tight with all of them. And that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with them or right. anything yeah. wrong with you. You guys yeah. just grew and went on different paths. Sometimes you outgrow people. Yeah. You like, got to know what serves you. You have to deal with, spend your time, your energy, and your focus on things that serve you. Like, mm-hmm. if yep. I'm in a space in my life where I'm trying to get a house, I can't talk to my homegirl who still in their mama house who, you know, ain't no I'll shade to projects, but ain't money. paying rent and don't see nothing, don't want to put no money aside. You want to go to the club every week and that don't serve me. I'm trying to save. I'm trying to stack. Yeah. Right. I got goals. I can't be in your, I can't be on that wavelength when I'm trying to do this for me because I have to be accountable to myself. A lot exactly. of people don't want to do that. I know we, we were saying um, people need to be accountable, etc. but like what exactly does accountability look like for people? So I think people hear the word, they throw that word around. I think it's a buzzword, and I guess in some circles. But right. then what does accountability actually look like? For well, you? Say, okay, go ahead, Mel. You go first, and I'm going to tell you what it looks like for me. A lot of us don't have genuine people in our side, on our side, in our corner. So we get caught up with these. Now, listen, don't steal my, my term. <laughs> but don't get caught up and these long-term associations, Mm -hmm. people that we think are friends. Mm -hmm. I've known Rich forever. Word. (laughs) When Rich is wrong, I tell Rich he's wrong. That don't mean I'm not gonna ride with him and do the fucked up shit, (laughs) but I'm gonna say, yo, we went about this all wrong. We did it all wrong. Maybe we shouldn't do this. Right. But accountability has to have some you have to have that respect for yourself and respect for that other person who you're trying to bring back down to a a reasonable level you got to have a sense of self-awareness and if you cannot be honest with yourself be true to yourself how how can you be accountable and piggybacking on that too like like, you know, like to Mel's point, we've known each other for a long time. So, like, if, if, if some shit is off, we're going to tell each other, like, yo, look, bruh, something is, something is not flowing here like it should be. This is what I'm seeing. And you have to be willing to be open and understand that the person that you're talking to, and obviously that's not everybody, right? Because not everybody has genuine right. people, like you said. But right. if you do have somebody genuine, you have to be willing to understand that when they're coming to you with this, and a lot of times they're coming to you from a place of logic. You, most people cannot think, you can't think logically and emotionally at the same time. And most people, when they do dumb shit, is based on emotion. So most times when your person is telling you, look, this is what I'm seeing, it's from a place of logic. They are not clouded by whatever emotional triggers you had that's making you do whatever dumb shit you're doing. So you have to be able to understand like, yo, you know what? This person is, li- they see what's going on and they're able to see it from an unclouded view. They're a little bit higher above on this. Let me listen to them. Maybe there's something that they're seeing that I'm not seeing. Now. Does that mean they're going to be 100% right all the time? Absolutely not. But they could see something that can keep you out of a lot of shit because they were looking for it. Trust me. Like, that is a thing. So here's my question. I mean, I think both of you have kind of, I don't know, Yana, if you wanted to add something, but both of you, I feel, is talking about accountability in regards to external. But what, what internally, you, do you think accountability can happen? Absolutely. Yeah, I want to answer that external because that's when I think accountability, I think internally. Yeah, I want to that. Someone but checking me so I can check that's, myself. That's part of being self aware. Mm. Yeah. That, I that's... think accountability for me is saying what you mean and meaning what you say, standing behind what you say, mm-hmm. um, is being able to admit fault, mm-hmm. yep. the mistake. Right. To, to be humble enough to be like, yo, I effed up. I was wrong in this. Mm-hmm. Or I, I could have done that. It's also, you know, standing in truth. Like, if I say I got you, like, T, you know, I'll let you know I got you. I can't just say with my mouth, I got you. I have to show with my action. Back so it, when, absolutely. Yeah. So when it comes time to it and, and you come to me, I can't be like, oh, I know I said I had you, but 
Mm -hmm. I mean, not this time, maybe next time. That's somebody that's not accountable to their word. It's they, yeah. they're, you know, they can't stand on their word. For me, my word is everything. Because Vaughn has to stay back in the day, right? When I walk into spaces, all I have is me and my word and what I say and what I put into the space. I have to stand behind it. So I can't show up faulty. I can't show up faking. I can't show up lying. I can't show up bullshitting because I won't be able to stand in that. So I have to walk in truth. I think there are, there's professional accountability when you're working in a workspace. You've got to yep. be accountable to your tasks. You have to be accountable to people who are waiting for you to do something. Right. In personal relationships, you have to be accountable to the promises that you've made to your partner or to the people yep. that you have personal relationships yep. with. Yep. But it's just, it's about self. It's like, I want to be stand up. I don't want to be a trash ass person. I want to be stand up. Mm -hmm. That's so what accountability is to me. So, you know, AJ brought up a, a good question talking about being accountable to yourself. And like, I'm not going to go into a long rant about it, but I'm just going to say this, like our society in general, we've conditioned each other to not be accountable to ourselves. You want to know why? Check this out. New Year's resolutions. How many people make New Year's resolutions? Oh, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to work out. I'm going to eat better. And from January 1st until about the end of January, they are in the gym going hard. And then all of a sudden, that's it. That's yeah. one part. Then you have songs out there. You got people talking about like YOLO and all that other crap. All that is is an excuse to justify you not being true to yourself and not mm -hmm. being accountable to your actions. Mm -hmm. we've, been, we've been conditioned to do it. That's true. That Y'all been conditioned to do that. that. Okay. So the hardest person to be accountable to is yourself. It's more uh, easy to be accountable externally than it is hey, to be internally accountable. But you got to care about yourself to be, to be I, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep saying it. You got to be self-aware. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like for me, for myself, speaking only for me, I know I'm an asshole. <laughs> I accept it. I embrace it. I understand it. I've you also you learned now. that. You. <laughs> I've also realized there's a time and place for everything. Right. There's a way to be tactful in what you do. There's things that are appropriate and things that aren't. So as you grow up and you become aware and you decide to mature and evolve as a person, mm. you realize you can be true to who you are mm -hmm. without necessarily offending or, right. or being disruptive or a nuisance to society. Right. So you, you have to have that awareness of yourself. I agree with that. And this is... Now I'm going to go back to that statement I made about individuals who's like, this is who I am. I ain't changing. You know, I'm right. at, at Bob because that's how people be seeing it. Right. Right. <laughs> but in all honesty, what Mel just said is exactly the same thing. If you think about it. Right. And, and at least in the way that I interpret that statement, I tell people all the time, I'm self-aware. I've done the work. I know who I am and I know who I am not. So right. when people come to me with grievances or anything like that, I hear you. Right. And there's some things that I'm willing to acknowledge. And acknowledging means I know I do that next, right? But that's not necessarily mean I'm willing to change that, right? And, I, and, and I, I'm one of those people, I'm, I'm gonna call it out. I'm not willing to change for people's comfortability. I'm just not willing to do it. I'm not. And, and when I say that, it means this. If it's, a, if it's something about my character that is really rubbing your spirit wrong, I absolutely wholeheartedly tell except you coming to me and telling me i hear that but it's up to me to decide if it's important enough for me to, to shift or not it's not automatically just because you say oh i need you to change that that i'm gonna be like i right, sure right and, and that's the thing and i think when people bring up or even accountability uh for certain actions there's gonna be instances where i might have done something wrong with you and i can acknowledge your feelings about that thing but it doesn't mean that it's gonna come with an apology it doesn't mean i'm gonna say oh well i'm never gonna do that again no and i think and i think that's part of being accountable too and being part being self-aware i did this thing i acknowledge i hurt you i did this thing and that was not my intent but i understand that it was the impact i get that but i'm being accountable for who i am and also honoring myself and this just means maybe we just can't flow on this level. So let me, ask you a question. That let me ask you a question. Pain. That's it's, just how I see it. I'm not going to change you, all parts of me for people who are just not liking it. I'm not doing it. Based on you and everything you just said, mm -hmm. how do you evolve from that mindset, though? Like, I agree with you. Sometimes things are what they are. No. But I feel that sometimes 
depending on the the complaint, complaining um, depending on what is being discussed. Sometimes we have to take it into consideration. Uh, maybe this would be for the better, for the bigger picture. Maybe it's not that big of a deal where I can't try it your way. Absolutely. And and I think when when I say it, and maybe it's the language, maybe it's the passion behind it, it comes out harsh. It's not to say that I'm never going to change, but my change has to be for me. I can't, it's not going to be, it has to be for, for me. And I think and when I say for me, when I think about it, oh, wow, me evolving is for the betterment of this. But it's not solely because you're telling me, no, um, that you don't like it. That's just how I internalize. I'm, I, it, it's like what you said, what would trigger a change for me? When I was younger, back in the day, I'd be like, I was that girl, like, fuck this, this is, this is who you're going to get in, period, right? There was no thinking about processing or anything. Now, I still feel like I'm along those lines, but just like what you said, if I'm hearing the complaint more than one time from different arenas, right? right. Different people and with different statuses in my life, mm -hmm. because I'm self-aware, now I got to sit down and think about it. But my thought process is this. Okay, these different people are saying these things to, about me. Is it true? It's definitely it has some truth to it because all these people are saying it. So it's definitely something I'm doing. My next question to myself is, how do you feel about this thing that you're doing? Right? And and then if if my part of me is like, I like it, guess what has to happen? <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing so, it. So and let me ask you a deeper reason I like it, it, it does it serve me though? A deeper yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that it. when I'm asking it, right, do that's I like it? it serve does, it, does it serve me? Is it serving a purpose in my life right now? No, absolutely, Ayana. And and if the answer is yes, then now the next part of the question goes, are you willing to lose these people off of this thing? And I have to make a decision there because now it's a matter of, are you willing to change for the betterment of you to keep these people around? Or are you going to change this thing because these people say you don't like it, but you think that it serves as a purpose? So I, I don't think people even give it that, that much thought. Whereas back in the day, I didn't. Now I do. And this is why I'm saying I'm not just going to be willing to change for anybody. I'm not willing right. to do that. And I think oh. it, it depends on the situation. It depends on the circumstances. But yeah. if you're doing something that you know is counterproductive to your best interest, but you okay. like it, then okay. that's, that, that's not the, a healthy mindset to have. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. then it's like, okay, I'm hurting myself, but I like what I'm doing. And there, there are other there are examples that you can use that we won't go into right now. But that that could be a thing. So then when somebody's coming to you and it's not like they're coming to you from a place of nitpicking, they're coming to you with a place from a place of caring. Like, listen, what I'm seeing right. is a problem. And if that's your answer, then it's like, okay, then it kind of puts you back into the headspace. Like, like, okay, well now I have to reevaluate myself too. Cause if I come to you, Hey, listen, this is what I'm seeing, especially if it's directed at me and I've given you no reason to, to be yeah. this way and you continue to do it. Now I got to vote you off the Island because I'm only trying to surround Absolutely. myself with people who are going to propel me because life is real simple, right? People make it hard. The people around you, they can be one of two things. They can be anchors or they can be oars. Are they going to help you row and get moving on in this, 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 these waters of life, or are they going to sink your ass to the bottom? That's it. But I think it's, it's a little, it's levels to it and it's layered. And I think you have to have discernment who's on your team and who's telling you what some people give you feedback because it serves them. It serves right. their self-interest for you to behave a certain yeah. way. Exactly. It serves their self-interest for you to change something so that it's better for them. And it really isn't to your benefit to follow along. And then you have real people on your team that can really, you know, as I say, pull up your socks and be like, yeah, this, this, ain't, this ain't what you're supposed to be doing. But I think nowadays, I don't think there's a lot of genuineness in a lot of relationships. Mm -hmm. I don't think people... No are telling each other the truth. My my village, the people I surround myself with, my select few, we tell each other the truth. If you if you ain't cute, if you doing something messy, you still my girl. But I'm like, yo, that's hella messy. No, nah, don't do that. That's that's messy. That ain't cute. That's right. beneath you. If you still decide to do it, I still love you. I still rock with you, but I let you know. I kept it 100 with you because I care about you and I want you to be better than this behavior I see you right. doing. Yep. If and I that's how it should be. Something harmful. I'm gonna tell you because I love you. I'm not gonna sit here and do the harmful shit with you and act like I ain't got nothing. Because that's not right. a real friend. Those are right. Fair Those are long term so associates. So many people think friends aren't supposed to tell your friend when you're wrong. You know how many memes I see. You know how many. That's crazy. Like, that's the dumbest that's crazy. ever. That ain't right. your friend. Then if they can't tell you, you fucking up. 
That's crazy. Right. That's not your friend. But I've seen so many memes say that. Oh, and you see and you see it yourself. You see people that you probably know from high school or whatever, you know, on the block, whatever, and they posting up and so, oh, my day one. <laughs> but y'all both acting a fool and none of y'all tell each other to check yourselves. Y'all are foolish. Y'all lying. And then each of y'all is telling other people, I don't know why she doing it. I don't know. But then each other's face, y'all keep key and that's fake as fuck. That's fraudulent. Don't call me for some bullshit because you're going to get your feelings hurt. I'm not that type of friend. I'm going to tell you straight up. You stupid. Girl, get off my phone. Cause that's, that's dumb. dumb. <laughs> like, I don't think, I think that's a dumb move, but if you want to do it, okay. Like, that's what I'm going to say to you. But people don't want to hear that. You know how many friendships I lost because of that? Like, they think I'm supposed to beat up the friend. I'm, I was never that friend. I'm never going to be that girl that's going to sit back and let you fuck your shit up. If I do that, I'm not your friend and I don't care about you. Period. But people think that, oh, they, they, people know who they can come to for their fuck, fuck shit. They know. Mm -hmm. right and eventually they won't they're gonna stop coming to you if they know you're not gonna accept their fuck shit but at the same time they're gonna resent you for not accepting their fuck shit and so then eventually it's gonna cause a rift right but and to me it's it's the dumbest thing ever like if you're gonna like exactly what yana said like why would i if i care about you i care about your well-being i care about who you are as an individual right why would i co-sign your dumb shit yeah why would i not co-sign mine slap me across the head like bitch that's dumb and this is why i had to cut people off i literally had to because i was doing some fuck and guess and then people were just letting me do it and when i like i started realizing that like i'm over here giving you sound advice and when i'm like you know off my tilt like i like because because i had those moments no one was checking me you want me to they like your though. mess. They like your mess. They want me a mess. Misery. Exactly. They like your mess and your misery. It was cute. That shit was entertaining. I'm not exactly. entertaining. I'm not here for nobody's entertainment. But yeah, exactly. there's a lot of people that are not real with themselves and with each other. And that's problematic. Like yeah. and you can so homeboy. And we really have some like harmful ass behavior in our community. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and do and and women sit around and let other women do some trash shit to their children mm-hmm. or their men. Mm-hmm. Men sit around, let their boys do some trash shit to their women and their children. And I'm like, how that, how's that your homeboy? But he don't take care of his kid, and you know he don't take care of his kid. But that's your dude. Like that's your day one a one. How's that your home girl? And she out here neglecting her children, and she in the streets with you all day, and you know yeah. it. And you help her neglect her responsibilities. What, yeah. what kind of person does that make you? Exactly. And then and it's that also people forget, you know, back in the day, there was this mindset. Pretty much you are the company you keep. Birds of a feather. If, if this girl trotting around doing whatever, or she's, she's just not taking care of her kids. Let's say the example you just used. You know what people going to start thinking? I can't breed this girl because guess what she's going to do, right? She, she think that's cute. She think that's okay. Mm-hmm. And then eventually people are just going to assume you are just like this person because you're around them and you're not checking them. So clearly you, you, you co-sign them. You this circle this. should reflect you. Your circle should reflect you. Nope. That's, that's how and I that's, that's how my circle is. Grow and change as you grow and change. <laughs> yeah. A lot of, a lot of people don't see it like that. A lot of people, they want to acknowledge what they want to acknowledge. Mm. They want to be aware of what they want to be aware of. And yep. I think a lot of people that, live their lives in such a fucked up manner they're doing it intentionally mm-hmm. because they're scared they're scared to put that effort in they're scared to to evolve they're scared to step up and grow as a person they're so comfortable with mediocre bullshit that yep. they will dwell and sit and fester in that shit and then so true. you gotta sometimes no matter how much you see and want to help a person like, yo, you need to step up. You need to do better. Sometimes you just got to let people sink. Yeah, absolutely. Right? If you I die, you die. <laughs> right? <laughs> By yourself. I ain't no ride or die. You going to be right there. I'm going to try. Because when I care, I'm going to try. Hey, hey. And the minute you keep pushing me, shoving me, making me the villain, I'm going to be like, cool, you got it. And I'm going to go this way. I'm not going to watch you sink. I'm, a, I'm just going to step away. I'm not going to watch you sink because that's just fake to me. I'm just not going to do that. I'm not going to take but, joy from that. It's going to hurt me to see you fail. I'm just going to be like, I can't deal with this. I'm not going to do this. I'm over here. And you do with you. And then you eventually you'll figure it out. Cause I always say that, that I had to learn. It's not your business. Mm. People gonna learn when they ready. They're going to hear when they ready. That's it. There's nothing you can do. That's a word. <laughs> too. You, nobody, you're not responsible for anybody's well-doing, but your own. That's a hard mm. lesson I had to learn. Okay. <laughs> nope. Uh, I definitely understand that and agree with that. Sometimes we put ourselves out there so much. And we are trying to extend ourselves to help these people that don't want to help. 
Right. Yeah. Don't save them. They don't want to be suck you dry. <laughs> Leave you high and dry. Take everything you got and still be doing the fuck shit that they was doing before you gave them everything you got. And you sitting there like, why am I depleted? Because you're trying to save somebody else. That ain't your business. At all. Right. Unfortunately, that's because you te- people tend to see more in other people than they see in themselves. Mm, so like cool. they, they see this thing, they, they they feel like they're a sculpture, right? They see this this lump of stone and they're like, you know what? I can turn you into a masterpiece. But meanwhile, it's just not cooperating, right? Like and, and that's where people go through it. And that's people feel like they need to save people like you said. They feel like they, they can they can make you be better. But then you have people who know this and they know that they should be better, but because they don't want it to be thrown into their face that, oh, well, you couldn't have done this because of me. They will intentionally mm. sabotage themselves to keep you from telling them you mm. wouldn't have done it if it wasn't for me. And that Absolutely. goes for relationships, That's that goes for all of that. You that right? is a word, Rich. And I like the, the piece, I've never known peace before I figured out that I'm only responsible for myself. Ooh, child, say that again for the people in the back. Girl. Before that, I was trying to do for everybody. I was trying to make mama right, man mm. right, family Girl. right, friends right, and it just wasn't right. And I wasn't right. I was neglecting all of me. And then I realized you don't have nothing but you. When you when you down and out and you by yourself, it's you mm. and God for those that believe in God. That's it. I, I've never had more peace than when I figured out that I couldn't do it for somebody else. That Although I can be accountable for others and to others, I have to be accountable for myself first and foremost. Absolutely. Have to. It you has gotta, to come first. You got to know when to choose you. Oh, yes. Right. I choose me all the time. Okay, all day, every day. <laughs> Twice on Sunday. All the time. Yeah. People will try to make you, listen, like you selfish, and I'll be like, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I deserve it. All these years I've been giving people, I deserve to be selfish. The fuck? <laughs> I, and I love when they say you've changed. Dirty bird. I'm like, thank you for noticing. Thank you so much. So you know what? I've I've never had that issue with somebody close to me saying I ch- I've changed, just for the simple fact that my circle always been small, and as I grew, they grew. Mm. Right. So. You've been fortunate. And yeah, it's, I, but you know how I am. I could like you today and hate you tomorrow and not talk to you again. So <laughs> it don't even matter to me. Like yeah. like I said, I I consider Rich my family. Mm-hmm. So as I as I done my dumb shit, he was there doing the dumb shit with me. As we became men and we did better, he was there with me. So we, we gotta pick and choose. And if we gonna go on a journey and we decided to have somebody tag along, they gotta be willing to take the journey with you. And it might not be the same journey along the same path, but y'all are going in the same direction. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's important. You you yeah. have to be there has to be some equally yoke, you know, energy in your team. Like everybody has to want to put on their best. Like you gotta be doing your best. I gotta be doing my best. And together we're we're motivating each other to do better. Like mm-hmm. if you're talking about your goals and I'm not encouraging you, I'm not speaking life over your dreams and your goals. Mm-hmm. Only time I'm interested is in the bullshit. Only time I'm mm-hmm. interested is in the turn up and the link up. Like I'm not interested in you. I'm not pouring into this friendship. I'm not pouring into this relationship because I'm, I'm not encouraging you to do something different and better for yourself. And That's you know what that is? Do you, you know what that is, though? What you just described? You know what that is, right? What is that? Accountability. That's exactly what it is. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's what we've been talking about this whole oh, time. Time. <laughs> My question is for you. It, it's, the question is based off of me and my scene online. And the question is, when are we going to tell men to be better instead of telling women to choose better? So let's, let's throw this, this question at Rich first. What is your your take on this question? When are we going to tell men to be better and tell women to choose better? All right. Instead of telling them, yeah. All right, so let's make this real easy. Men are going to be better for the women they want to be better for. That's it. So if mm-hmm. you got a chick that she doesn't inspire you, not just inspire you, oh, because she's sexually attractive, but inspires you to want to be better, sparks your spirit, sparks your soul. You're going to be a shithead because you don't see no value in keeping her around. If she's there, she's there. If she's not, fuck her. Mm. But if she inspires your soul, then you're going to want to be better. You want to know why? Because you're going to want her to be proud of you. you. You're going to want to do the things that you do 
and then be able to go back to your girl and be like, yo, babe, yeah, this is what I'm doing. This was going on. And have her be like, yeah, that's my boo. That's what I'm doing. And have that sense of pride as you do it. Because men are very prideful people. And if you don't give us a reason to be prideful in our actions, then we're not going to fucking be prideful in our actions for you. The end. I, I hear you. Mm. And to go along with that, okay. I wholeheartedly believe that women make this decision. And I say that to say, a man can approach you. It's your choice whether you give him any time of day, any, you know, any conversation, any entertainment. A man slides in your inbox. It's your choice to respond or not. A lot of times, women are choosing these men that are bad fathers, assholes, or whatever you want to say. And then they are saying that the guy is making them turn into a woman they don't want to be. Stop picking the same guy. Stop, <laughs> stop making that decision. Stop trying to change a person that don't want to change. We're looking at each other like, hmm. <laughs> it, it's your choice. A man, a man can see you in the street and be like, damn, he's gorgeous. Let me talk to her. A lot of times I've heard women say, y'all know within the first five seconds of talking to somebody, if they're worth your time. Yep. So if you know that and you still decide to move forward, that was your choice. Huh. Right. They, they saw the potential. Right, they saw the potential of what he thought he could be. They wanted to be able to mold him. Because I've heard that a lot too. Women want to shake. She was a good enough woman to change a man that didn't want to change and found no fault in his actions. So I don't think y'all wrong. I don't think y'all wrong with what y'all saying. I but in response to that picture, I also fully agree with it. And so when it's saying, you know, we we so busy really telling women, society loves telling women what the fuck to do. Period. They love it. They love it, especially when it comes to relationships and choosing who you. Oh my goodness! There's so many magazines about it. Do y'all realize? Essence, Jen, all of us. Y'all, y'all control the key. Y'all have the most power in this fucking world. Y'all control the narrative. Where? Y'all control the. When I say that, I say this, and I'm talking about society wise. We're not not talking about government shit. We're talking about society wise. Mm -hmm. That's your your basic. They just let's let's minimize it to just the community. Women compete with each other, first of all. So if we say, as as women, the we're not going to accept certain shit from men. We're no longer going to deal with the men that aren't being terrible fathers and out there for their kids. We no longer are going to deal with the men that refer to as bitches and things that way. Men are going to conform because. They're everything they do to get the attention of women. So if you have a man that has a nine to five job and is doing everything he needs to do as a man, as a father, as a provider, and he wants to include you, but you choose Dope Boy Jerome, that was your choice. Yep. Well, see, now I agree with women and choice and that women need to make better choices for themselves. Mm -hmm. I don't disagree with that. but. In this conversation, I haven't heard yet that men need to be better. And we had a previous conversation where you said men don't know how to be men. No, men don't know how to be men. And I feel like if I see somebody that I consider an associate fucking up, I'm going to say, yo, don't do that. You're fucking up. But also, we live in a society that minding other people's business gets you in a worse situation. Or deeper than that, we live in a society that perpetuates the sexist behavior that women have right. to deal with with men. We, we live in a society where you are the man if you got several women. You are the man if you have certain status and access and you out here doing certain things. You're a player. Like We live in a society that shoots the narrative of boys will be boys. Yeah, and and women what, got to do better. Um, and, I'm, and I believe everybody has to do better. I believe women have to do better and men have to women. be better men. No, right. and I agree with that too. But let's look at the reward situation with that, right? So 
you got men, especially if you have men that were raised by their mothers, right? A lot of men who were just raised by their moms, their mom gives them this narrative that, hey, listen, you got to be a gentleman. You got to be nice. You have to be chivalrous. You have to do all of these things. And the little boy grows up because, yes, that's what he wants to do, right? But like we had talked about before, you know, you meet three or four chicks in a row that you're doing all the things that your mother taught you. And to Tamel's point, you're getting shitted on for, you know, dope boy Jerome or the dude that did her dirty, then what's that going to do for you? You're only going to touch a hot stove so many times before you stop fucking touching it. So then you're going to be like, you know what? Clearly what I was doing didn't work. Let me do something different. And then they do something different. And then unfortunately they're being rewarded for it. So this it's a cycle. It's and on the flip it. side of that cycle is a woman who says, yo, I had enough of the fuck shit. I had enough of the fuck boys. I don't want that no more. I'm looking for a man that got his shit together. And then they try to hold dudes accountable. And dudes are like, I don't got to deal with this shit. It's three, four bitches around the corner that's going to take my shit. Now this brings me back to what I said. This brings me back to what I said. You now deciding that, you know what, I'm tired of dealing with the fuck boys, right? You made a decision to change. I'm going to deal with this type of guy now. Or I want to deal with this type of guy. But now they got so used to the girls that kept shitting on them Fair. when they tried to be that type of guy. Right. Now they're dealing with the girls that accept the bullshit. And vice yeah. versa. And so how does a person who wants better for themselves win in this game? In this rat race you of, find somebody I that's ain't going to be better page. and I ain't going to choose better. Find somebody that's on your page. Find somebody that's willing to evolve with you. Some people, some people are meant to be fucked and not fucked with. <laughs> Amen. Can you put that on a shirt? I buy it. Yes, that is. Now that's a word. Okay, I know it's it's not Sunday. It's Saturday, but that's a word, folks. Y'all heard that some people just fuck them and then leave their ass where you left them at. Exactly. After, some, after you some pull people, your pants up, leave their ass right there. Some people are meant to join you on your journey. But not drop your seat and go. No, no, no. Don't do that. Uh, don't do that. Uh, Strap it up. This is the Got enough. Broken homes. The process comes into play, right? Because look at it like this. You go back 20, 30 years, right? Even the whole dating pool was different. Yes, People it was. Go on two or three dates, and they didn't have to go on a date with the same person. They went on dates with different people all the time, right? And when they finally found somebody that they meshed with, then they went steady yeah. with that one Factual. person. But now the way society is set up, you go on two dates with somebody and let's say you talking to somebody else and that's both men talking to other women or women talking to other men, then all of a sudden these people feel entitled. And it's like, oh, well, uh-huh. we, we were talking. We were talking. Yes, we were talking, but we weren't dating. We are not together. I don't owe you a yes, fucking right. I'm happy a man. Right. But I think people need to be clear and establish that thing because some folks sell a dream. We got to talk about the people that be bullshitting and selling dreams too. Oh, if you are yeah. talking to people, multiple people, let those multiple people right. know be honest about you it. You ain't the only one. I don't have wait, no problem. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. So wait a second. And I'm going to generalize this because I know not every female is like this. Y'all say y'all want the honesty. So a man comes to you and is like, yo, you're not the only one. And they will feel like, what you mean? And that's why I'm making you feel how they feel. Right, exactly. Or a man could be like, Listen, with all due respect, I just want to fuck you. And they'll okay. be offended. What 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 do I look like? What type of woman? I'm not no hoe. Why you gotta be a hoe? Because I wanna fuck you. Right. That's all I see for, between me and you. Right. We gotta start when we ask for the honesty, we gotta be, be able to accept the honesty on No, I agree with that. I agree with that. But do listen, dudes can't take honesty either. Not at all. Dudes don't wanna hear that shit. They don't wanna hear it's the next listen. nigga on the line. They don't um, like who that who's that calling your phone? The next it's a pride thing. Absolutely. No, you're absolutely right. It's a pride thing. But yeah. unfortunately, most people, both men and women, like to be lied to. You wanna know why? Because there are times where you will ask your significant other a question that you know you don't want the honest answer to. Do I look fat in this dress? <laughs> what do you say? Oh yeah. Yeah, like Do I look fat in this dress? Yeah, like you'll ask the I question. don't really think women be asking that. T I ain't never asked no man that. I ain't never asked no man that shit. I don't want the answer. Hold on, hold on. AJ, you asking anybody that? For real? Of course. Thank not. you. Thank you. But I don't now, well nowadays, not maybe not so much with that, but people will intentionally ask a question 
that they really don't want the actual answer to. They I mean, want I agree the to that. Throat. And, no, I, and, I, I definitely agree. People like being lied to because yeah. they like living in the lie. But right, I think, of, I think okay. people like to be lied to, but in the same breath, people are also still afraid to tell the truth. And and Ooh. and when I say that, yeah, people are afraid to tell the truth. It That's takes true. a level of brevity. It takes a level of also being confident in yourself to be able to tell someone the truth. Mm-hmm. A That's lot of people true. don't have that. And when they say, "Oh, I'm trying to," a lot of people love to say, you know, um, they like to quote unquote stay away from conflict, or um, they want to save someone's feelings. That's bullshit. They they just are afraid to with the con. Exactly, they're they afraid can deal with the outcome. Better have a yeah. chance, uh, and no then you problem. get labeled because T. We, we the last time we had a conversation, you were like, "Yo, back in the day, like I was like a nigga, like." And I know when I know from the place that you came from because I was definitely like that. <laughs> a woman who just tell it like it is, be upfront and honest. You know, she, like she's it. not feminine enough. She's not oh, lady like no. enough. She's not a wife. She, yo, you got to put her in the pocket. You can't okay. talk to men like that. Hold up. Been, well, but let's look at the flip of that, though, because you bring up a good point. But then a dude who isn't being ultra aggressive and he's talking to you and not at you and he's trying to listen to what you got to say, then y'all get bored with him and all of a sudden he's too nice. And obviously, me, I AJ, obviously we've had a conversation. <laughs> like, we've had that conversation, AJ. Like, now I'm, I'm a nice like, dude. I'm not in that pocket. Please not talk now. to me nicely. Not now, because when I tell Ayana you, likes compliments. Listen. No, but even <laughs> when I was like in a different mindset, I still didn't want her dudes. I still didn't like that shit. <laughs> no, I don't like all that shit. I don't like that rah-rah. I don't I, like it. You, you say I like that. a man who's street smart, but not of the streets. <laughs> First of all, watch how you talk to me, okay? I'm triggered. Right. I got triggers. I got hey, past traumas and triggers. Watch how you talk to it shouldn't go down. Okay. You ready to go to, to 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 do what you gotta do? But I don't want you're not talking me crazy because we gonna and my mouth is wild I, crazy. I, I, so if you I, get I, disrespectful. I, I don't care. <laughs> my mouth is wild crazy. If you get disrespectful, I'm gonna get disrespectful yeah. back. Watch this how you talk to me. Talk nice. This, this is why I don't. Okay. Do it. I zip it up. My mouth is hella reckless. I get it from my mama. Like, I do think that people. Um, I I think that men need to hold themselves accountable. Like, yes, I agree with everything that you said, Rich. Yeah, and I, I agree, agree with Rich. Excuse me. And I agree with everything you said, Mel, about the fact that men are motivated by what they want to get. Men are motivated by the 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 chase, the prize, and they will do what motivates them. So, if a man wants to do better because he wants to provide better for you then he will. But I right. think going back to the, the original conversation we had about accountability and self-accountability, yep. I think men get away with having less self-accountability. A woman has to be something mm-hmm. for herself. She got to have some shit together for herself. Or she going to be treated like she ain't nothing. She going to be treated like she gutter. Mm-hmm. She going to be treated like she ain't shit. A dude that. doesn't necessarily have to come to the table having shit about himself and he will still get a basic level of respect that a woman will not get so, if they are the, both the same a lot, of times, people. a lot of times relationship goes wrong and again you guys can find me on this but i just feel this is, i'm a woman this is perception i see a lot of times relationship goes wrong it's for me the first thing i hear is they asking a woman what like pretty much why did you why it, it's a you question it's a you question what is it right. that you did what is it that you could have did different what is it that mm-hmm. you allowed what is it like? And it's like, whoa, what if I came to the table with, I came to the table properly and then every way that I could have, why nobody out here questioning homie? Right? Well, here's and, the thing and it's about not even a place. situation you where he, it was no cheating. They said no cheating or no, nothing like that. But a lot of times it's like, what is it that, why didn't you do everything you could have done to, 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 to save the relationship? Why is it that you could a woman is supposed to keep a man. That's a side. Well, here's standard. the thing though. Hold up. It's not a matter of saving a relationship because like Mel said earlier about people growing, you could have grown different. You could have brought everything to the table right. and so could he. And guess what? Because you guys grew different, your goals were different, your drive was different. You just mm-hmm. grew differently. So anybody who's coming to you and trying to blame you for it, that's just ignorant. That's a fact. But it's, it's, it's I've what been in, in situations where it was clearly unequally yoked and I was still asked, like, well, why yep. did not? And I it was like, it was better. crystal clear. You put the scoreboard up for the for my partner and I, my ex and I, and it was like, yo, ride or die, this, 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 everything checked off, and it was still like, well, why didn't you yep. just do a little wait, bit more? Wait, yeah. <laughs> it's, so it's like, like wait, you know, 
it, you know, men cheat, you know, that's just something you got to, you know. But if a woman cheat, the right? first time a woman okay. cheat on a man, he no, out. I mean you, he he out, because his ego hurt. So his look, his so pride hurt. How dare so she? Look, so, so here's the question with that then. The people who asked you, you know, what you did wrong, what did they actually have invested in your relationship to instantly blame you and to feel comfortable enough to blame you? So clearly, they probably weren't even happy in their own situation because they wanted you to wallow a little bit in your own. Oh yeah, they was miserable. Yeah, I admit to that. You it was been miserable. Okay this situation being done, but because they want you to wallow in your own shit, it's like, well, what did you do? You. Could, but society you wants women to wallow in the shit. A man is never told stay uh, down. The next. You know, it's fine. You know what? She gonna get better, bruh. She don't suck your dick like you wanted to. She get better. She don't cook for you, bruh. She right. don't. She she'll get better. They told go get the next chick. Women are told stay down till he get it right. Maybe mm-hmm. before. Men are not told that. Maybe that maybe in a, before. That's maybe before. Now. Nowadays it's now. totally different. It's totally different nowadays. How because, did it? How? Because again, this brings me back to men don't know how to be men. Women don't know how to be women. The roles have changed, in a sense to say like. Women are saying, fuck it. I'm going to do me. You doing you, I'm going to do me. That's a, yep. that's, that's a, so you heard that? Y'all heard that out there? Fathers, and there's a lot more fathers that's stepping up and taking over the, the child rearing responsibilities oh, and have to fight in court for years to get their kids. We, even, meanwhile, the baby moms is doing dumb shit and they're still fighting super hard to get these kids. So like, like Mel said, the roles have definitely changed. There's, there's far more fathers out there trying to be dads and men because they already understand the impact they have on their children's lives so it's not my hat my hat hats off to those that step up but i think in society the expectation for a woman to endure in a relationship Mm. is always deeper than the expectation for a man to do better well you know what i have i I want to i'm going to bring up something there but before you start wait before you start fellas if you're listening do better (laughs) <laughs> just do better it's a fact. Make, thank you stop <laughs> stop blaming on the other people stop being a victim accept the accountability in your flaws if you haven't public been a father step up be a father public service announcement if you haven't done what you were supposed to do for your lady step up treat her better because if somebody like me that'd be a father to your kids <laughs> <laughs> Be a better, be a better daddy than you are. Thanks. But that no, you're absolutely right. But here, but here, it's gonna wrap all together. This individual though needs to be self aware enough to be accountable for their shit. Thank you. It goes back to accountability. It dead drops back to self because I because the same thing that you just said to the fellas out there, we can say to women like, yo, women, if you're trash, do better. Like. You yeah. treating these dudes it's like trash, you better. Women. If you lying. There's toxic women, there's trash ass women. Yes, there's trash mothers there. out there. If you a trash mama, if you a trash toxic baby mama doing some petty shit because hey. you mad you done moved on, cut that shit out. But Stop you know what's it. funny about all that? A lot of times, and y'all mentioned this, birds of a feather stick together. If you right. see a trash mom, she probably got trash ass friends yes. back in her life. It's but a whole flock of them, pigeons. Whole flock. Yes. So, so think about think of it like this, right? Any and just kind of touching on what AJ was saying earlier, right? About people coming to her about things that um she might need to fix and her trying to take into accountability uh, or take take into account what they're saying, right? So even the president has a cabinet. So why would you think that when it comes to life things that you shouldn't have at least one or two trusted people who are mm-hmm. able to think objectively to help you make better decisions because no one's all knowing. Nobody's all knowing. We all make mistakes. We no. all make decisions based yeah. off the information that we have. So why would you not want to have somebody who you know is in your corner that's going to be like, listen, based on this move right here, there's a pitfall. I need you to chill. Look at what's going to happen. Yeah, people that don't want that is people that don't want to be accountable. It's not. Well, I mean, I don't know if you're targeting it to me when I, I, I broke no, that just, no, 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 just in general, just in general. Oh, I mean, I think sometimes too, being a, being real and I can tell from my situation, for me, it was not that I didn't want it. It was literally because it wasn't there. And like, I had to, I had to be introspective. I had to, because I wanted Got different. It. I had to stop myself and be like, I wanted different. I literally was at a point, you guys had mentioned, where I was doing toxic shit. I was doing shit that w- w- was not okay. 
And I sat there and said, this ain't okay, but guess what? It makes me feel good and I want to continue doing it. I literally had this conversation with myself and I, I had to get to the point where it was like, we need to cut this shit out because now it's just not, it's not serving me. Like what Ayana said. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. When, I, when I made that decision is when I had, that's when I was able to scan around and go, but who here is someone that could be a, me- that can mentor me, who I can actually talk to, right? Who can provide me something different. Who's going to tell me the real truth and not off some jealousy shit, not off right. some, I envy you shit, hey, not off yeah. some, I hate on you shit, not off of some, I'm going to encourage you to do, continue to do bad shit because my life is fucked up too. And I had to take that, I had to take that assessment. I had to look right. around. And the way I realized is I got to cut all these bitches off. <laughs> right and, and there has to be a readiness to receive i've learned that yeah. too in relationships that people have to have a certain readiness to receive and and see it in themselves and see it for themselves before because people listen you know your own dirty shit you cannot lie to yourself when you lay in your bed when you're when you are by yourself on your pillow you know the ins and out of your mess so anything that somebody brings to your attention you already trying to cover it up, lie about it, or ignore it and repress it. But it has to be an open channel of being able to receive it. I've had friends that have come to me at points in my life and be like, this is not you. This is not Ayana. And I, and I wasn't ready to receive it. I wasn't ready to hear it. So I was like, whatever, girl. And I stayed in my mess. And then when I was in the point where it, again, no longer served me, and I had those, I knew I had those people behind me that already let me know this ain't you. Then I was able to come to them and be like, yo, you know what? I was tripping six months ago, six weeks ago, six days ago. Mm-hmm. I was tripping. And you really, you came to me, you let me know. You're right. This ain't okay. me. This don't serve me. I need to do something different. But if you don't have anybody in your circle that loves you enough, because that's love. To tell somebody about themselves means I love you. Sure? If I'm just your yes woman and I just make you feel good by telling you BS, I don't really mess with you. Mm. I'm not really your people. But if I love you enough to be like, that does not serve you. Yo, you drinking every day. Every time I'm on the phone with you, you got another bottle done. I think that this is not, this behavior doesn't serve you. You can't tell somebody that you're not really their people. Right. Got to understand who really rides for you. My friendships are great. We have a good time. We kiki and all that, but we get real with each other. We tell each other the truth, honey. And that's because we have established that we give a fuck about each other and we want the best for each other. And people right. say they want real, but they, just like what Mel mentioned, they ain't ready for it. It's not true. Yeah. They don't. They don't. They, and don't. they can't be my friend, Chuck. They want real unless it's something they don't want to hear. You can't be you can, my friend. You can, you can be real as long as it's something that they're not willing to change. They're not willing to mm-hmm. accept for themselves. Yeah. Other than that, they want real. It's like, oh, yeah. You don't want it real. Like, you want nothing to do right. with that. And I think that tacks back to the meme that Mel brought up with the choice, woman's choice, and men doing better. Like, they're not going to do it unless they want to. Both a woman and a man. Right. A woman's not going to choose better till she wants to, and a man is not going to be better until he wants to. But there's the flip of that, too, right? Because there are a lot of, you know, dudes out there that might be a good dude that was dealing with shitheads and they knew that the girl was a shithead when they yep. got with her they know and then they got entwined and stuff. Yeah, they knew it. But that's because unfortunately, and I'll tell you from a guy's perspective, they look at shit a little differently. Like women look at men in terms of, okay, who's going to be a good mate, who's going to be a good provider, who has the potential to be a good provider. Whereas men tend to look at women first, as far as who's more attractive and do, and dudes will, deal with some bullshit for a chick that they find really attractive, even Mm. though she might not have anything to offer besides her physical appearance. And Mm. that's where people go wrong because they'll be like, yeah, she, she's attractive. You know, she got a nice body, whatever. Uh -uh." But she ain't doing shit with her life. She's not. Mm -hmm. Why do you think this whole concept of having like sugar babies and all other shit is a thing? Dudes willing to spend money on somebody who's eye candy. Mm -hmm. She offers no substance whatsoever, Mm -hmm. but she's cute. So he deals with it. That's like, it. The shiniest apple could be rotten on the inside. I think, yeah, it's absolutely. And I think it's Who's twofold. Gold? This issue is twofold, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, where at one end, it's like, just what I said last time, I think I think we, we all, men, women, those yep. in between, need to, need to be more cognizant of what we are allowing and what we are perpetra- perpetrating. Right? Like when you are sitting here, like what you said, just you just said, Rich, oh, you know, you know, men, uh, she looked good. She ain't, she ain't got shit. Then all right, I'm still gonna fuck with it. And then when right. things happen and it goes left, 
issue. Same thing with women. We make choices of like choosing dudes that, you know what, we knew was not for us, was mm-hmm. not okay. And then we, and then when the shit goes left, all right, now it's, it's this whole other thing. And we, we need to be real cognizant of what the fuck we're doing and why we're doing it. And it's not a matter of blaming other people. It's a matter of the, like what we- Self-accountability. You got, you chose that shit. Just like what Mel said. Yes, bitch, you chose that nigga, right? Right. It's like, homie, you also chose to fuck with her too. <laughs> like, right, your like, baby mama that you can't stand? Yeah. When you was deep up in the guts, you ain't had no problem. <laughs> You had no problem. Oh, now man. you can't stand her. Right. You made that choice. Your baby father that ain't shit. He was still ain't shit when he before he was your baby father and baby you father let him be baby, baby number father. one and he still wasn't shit with baby number two. Thank like, you. Thank you. Like you know, okay. I mean? it's still more choices. Just be ready to deal with the consequence. There you go. People always feel like they could change somebody. Yep. You can't change nobody but yourself. You can't change nobody that but yourself. It's hard as fuck. And changing no. yourself is hard enough already. Exactly. Yes. Working on hard. you is hard enough already, but you really can't change nobody else. You have that. You don't have that control. Even your children, even the people who come through you, you can't change them. They are themselves. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. You can help influence, but you can't. Exactly. Over- exactly. Mm-hmm. That's, That's crazy. I let let that go. Let that go. Let that, <laughs> that desire to want. I'm telling you, that's how I keep my edges, okay? That's how my skin is so clear. Because I let that shit go. I was like, I'm well, not doing it. <laughs> clearly, I didn't let it go because that's how I lost my Oh, skin. bro. See? <laughs> See, you couldn't have preserved your edges. You right. Them. Lost them shit a long time ago. Let that that's pressure go. Can. Let it off your chest. The hairline. You know, you got to keep the it's hairline. It's all right. Okay. Nah, that, my, my hairline, my hair follicle game is gone. So nah, it's all right. Your beard connects. That's all that matters. We don't right, really need right, the right. hairline. We just need the beard co- to connect, and we straight. <laughs> and, the, and the truth of the matter is, honestly, like for real, I know we joking, but like the truth of the matter is, the quicker and sooner we're, we are accountable for ourselves, the less shit we allow ourselves to to to, to get Ooh. into. Honestly, because like you gonna that. have to you you think about it a little more because then you know I'm like yo, this shit go left. You you gonna be looking and feeling real dumb, and you can you can you can account to that. You know what I mean? Like, I, yeah, this is what's gonna happen. You already see it. You and you just earn and you get up this foresight. You just you just get it. Like what Ayana said, your discernment becomes so much sharper. That's it. Right when you learn to be more accountable, and then you can then be able to dodge and weave these shit that's thrown at you. Like it, it, right. it makes it makes it so much easier. It makes it so much better. It really does. It gives you a right. sense a sense of clarity and peace. It's and true. But the, the work is it's hard. It's hard, but it's it really is worth it. Like it really is, and you're gonna realize that life just eases the fuck out. Right. Right. You don't even have half the drama you had before. Yeah. People get confused by a smile. That's what it is. They see a smile and they get confused and they forget. Ooh, the you animal better, kingdom. Bitch, you better give that word. Yeah, in the in the animal kingdom, if you look at it, both lions and gorillas bear their teeth before they fuck you up. Mm. But you see a smile and you be like, "Oh yeah, let me walk towards it." Mm. Nah, they 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 may not be smiling. They might be baring their teeth, preparing to rip your ass to shreds, and Facts. you gonna walk into your own demise willfully. Facts. Mm, that's why that's listen that's, that's why i'm covered in prayer and discernment okay god gives me insight i go god, and all that. god is that. the sage i do it all i got the crystals i got the sage i got the altar i make sure all my ancestors evoke that and woke. okay they evoke they and woke for your ass they working before i get there they all in the atmosphere before i show up so i can just show up and be chill okay huh. Listen, listen. That's it. That's I, I go inward. I go inward. I have learned, and I'm a, I'm a Gemini. I like to be sociable. I like to be all in, in everybody's face. And then I had to take a moment and say, do you know yourself? You put on, you put on these airs, you put on these, whatever you put on when you're out and about, mm-hmm. you, you play these roles for everybody, but what are you mm-hmm. for yourself? What do you have for yourself that right. is yours? And I had to go inward and I had to get, I had to work on me and tell myself some really ugly truths. Like this ain't cute, sis. Yep. Let's fix this. This is toxic. This doesn't serve you anymore. This behavior doesn't serve you. This mindset doesn't serve you. This action or inaction doesn't serve you. Let's switch some shit up because you want to be better for you. That's accountability yeah. for me. That's okay. That's it. So and ladies and gentlemen, I, I think we all agree that a lot of these motherfuckers just need to become self-aware. <laughs> I wish they get that shit out like a pill. Like the Matrix, red or blue pill. 
Learn yourself before you become toxic to everybody else. That's it. And stop hey. bringing your drama to other people. Keep that oh, messy hell. shit to your mama. Go home to your mama. Yeah. Your mama is the, the only mama. person I'm obligated Take to do. Problem. They can't go Take home and have out. conversations. So. Stop pulling your mama. Again, I'm going to direct it to you. Let's do better. Thank you. Let's do better for ourselves. Let's do better for our kids. Let's do better for our ladies. Yes. Let's, let's do better. What Lauren said, it could all be so simple. Yep. It could be all so simple. Make it hard. But, but guess what? We choose to make it hard. Right. Because that's what society glorifies. I promise I'm doing my, my part. Love. Fellas, nope. if you associate with me and you fucking up, I'm going to call you out on site. You're Get fuck up. Get him. All you fellas not taking care of your kids, y'all are assholes. Get him. Take care of your kids. Facts. All y'all cheating on y'all uh, y'all girls, don't let them find out. <laughs> hey, see? See? Hey, Bullshit. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Just cut it out. <laughs> Let's try to be better. Let's do better. Right. Do better. If you know better, you do better. Do better. The facts. Okay. Word. And better looks sexier anyway. A dude that do better is sexier anyway. Okay. We be hey, but hold on, hold on. I need y'all to talk to these scallywags out here. <laughs> Ball head scallywags. I don't care if they got hair, wigs, weaves, or whatever. Just tell them. Cut their shit out. It's a fact. Listen, I'm, I'm a strong believer, and spirit tells you to run, sis. Fucking run. Your job is not here to fix a damn person it's not build a bear right it's not build a nigger if his mama couldn't <laughs> raise him right in the words of k michelle amen that makes you think you gonna do better okay <laughs> so you and your mama no, the only person you can control is yourself and if you're having a hard time doing that it's probably best you don't get into a relationship figure your shit out before you open right. it Ladies, unload be it toxic. somebody else and fucking sex dick pussy whatever it's not gonna fix shit no. It ain't gonna fix no. nothing. So don't and, and if you feel that's all you have to offer, you got bigger problems too. Yeah, it for the women out here who have right. a mindset of looking to come up on a dude, I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna use it for what he got. D women out here trying to trap dudes because that shit is real. Stop that shit. Yeah. Women out here trying to set dudes up for the okie doke. Stop that shit. Just do better, be better, have a better mentality. Every man can't pay for your father's mistakes. Every man can't pay for the last nigga's mistakes. Every man can't pay for what your mama, your daddy, your grandmammy didn't, didn't teach you. You got to learn it on your own. Like, you have to become a better person because you want to be a better person. And mm -hmm. then you can be somebody's woman. But if you're trash, you're going to be trash single. You're going to be trash together. You're going to be trash separated. Just do better. Like, do it, better. Do better. Word. And stop stressing that man. Better. Look him a steak and give him some head. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> you got to do that too. Hey, you know, Ayana, say that. Say it again, Ayana. <laughs> Cook a mistake and give him some heads. You know, it's every there's that that rhetoric of happy wife, happy life. What's up? Listen, happy spouse, happy house. Keep your man happy too. Hey, some shit that's a word. for your man. Oh God. Okay. All right. So on that note, we're gonna cut it off right there, ladies. Thank you so much for joining us again. You know, it's always cool having y'all in there. Thank you. you know, thank you. Thank you very much. Good we're gonna time. do it up. Good time. Yeah. Today's Connection Corner, I leave you with a post from Kira J. It reads, you have to learn the difference between someone disrespecting you versus you feeling disrespected. Emotional ears hear from a place of offense. Sometimes it's not what they said, it's what you are triggered by. And unless you know your triggers, you'll see everything as an attack. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for tuning into this week's episode of the Oasis Podcast. I hope you were able to find something that resonated with you on your journey. Don't forget to subscribe everywhere you listen to podcasts and YouTube. Rate us and leave us a review and comment on Apple Podcasts or iTunes and YouTube. Share your favorite episode and like us on Instagram and Facebook. If you have any questions, comments, want to be a guest, or have show ideas, contact us at ajsoasis at gmail.com. That's A-A-Y-J-A-Y-S-O-A-S-I-S -S at gmail.com or direct message us on Instagram or Facebook.